All right. So uh, I've been looking into Viktor Gorbenikov lately, and uh, I had some June bugs laying around, and uh, I thought I'd try to see what happens. Uh, there's a lot of interesting videos out there on YouTube right now about um, beetle wing covers and their reaction to each other. So the one I've seen that has the most interesting effect looked like it was on some kind of nylon. And then um, we've got some aluminum over here. Anyway, I'm just going to mess around with these and see if I can get it on film. So I'm not touching the, uh, the wings right now. I don't know if you saw it jump earlier. Sometimes they stick or repel from my tweezers. Okay, there's a little bit. Alright, so I can't say for sure if this is a beetle shell effect. <laughs> this thing's jumping all over the place. Or a static electricity from the nylon, but I seem to be able to replicate some of those videos that are out there. Um, when I've got beetle shells on top of nylon. So you see how they want to repel each other. Um, I was looking into June bugs because they're a type of scarab and there are some interesting Egyptian uh, beliefs on the scarab and uh, that's why I chose the June bug. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get some aluminum in here. Well, it jumped a little bit. One more thing. Here's an aluminum pie tin. And this is kind of interesting. They seem to stick. I don't know if you can see the angle I'm at. So that's interesting. Anyway, um, I have not been able to get them to hover over each other, but I'm still working on it. I just found this out today. I wanted to get a video out there. So, um, I'm kind of thinking this is more static electricity, but if it's not, um, I'm thinking it's more any beetle that can fly. I don't know if it's one specific beetle. But anyway, there's some results for a scarab uh, wing cover. And uh, out here in California, we've got them all over the place. So no shortage of scarabs. <laughs> all right, guys, just wanted to put that out there. Take care.